Mr. Pirelli. Thomas Durabaj. Spoke on the phone. Happy you could come. I came here to stop the call. Um, okay. Yes. Do you mind walking with me for a moment? I don't know what you're thinking by hounding me. Mr. Pirelli, you don't mind if I smoke, do you? They don't let me smoke in the house. This will give us good reason to uh, talk out of your shop. This way. The Kempers, as you know, have had a torrid life. Your history with them in the past has uh, given them great hope in the possibility of finding their lost grandson. This way. I don't think you need to go on. As I told you on the phone, I don't do this type of work anymore. Hear me out. I know you came here today to tell them in person, but uh, I have some information to share with you that might alter your decision. Mr. Kemper is not doing well. Quite frankly, neither is his wife. His grandson is the sole benefactor of his fortune. I am in charge of his estate. Therefore, I must go through every procedure possible to uh, find this missing young man. It puts me in an extremely difficult position. That's not my problem. The situation is a timely one, considering Mr. Kemper's health. Uh, his wife will be looked after, but uh, some very important decisions will have to be made. Frankly, I'd like to complete the finalities and move on with my own life. Well, there's other boxing hunters and detectives. We've tried. The last one, uh, took the partial payment and disappeared in a completely unprofessional way. Excuse me? He took the money and he didn't return. They want closure, Mr. Pirelli, much like you gave them 16 years ago. Well, I have a job. Mm. They're willing to pay a uh, very, very handsome price. This is the total amount. Half now. Half when the young man is found. It fits his, of course. I assume you still possess your gift? I have a job. Your janitor job? What do you make a year? 40,000? 50,000? This would be five times that. You could erase your debt. You could give yourself a clean slate. The price reflects the amount needed for you to better yourself, Mr. Perot. I don't think you understand this job won't kill me. Fine. I'm just doing my job. Apparently it's time for a face-to-face -face with Mr. Kemper. Where is Mr. Kemper? He's inside. You will be paid for today's visit. Mr. Pirelli. Mr. Pirelli. Mr. Pirelli. Sir, I need to show you in. Keep level-headed, sir. Mr. Pirelli, I will make the introduction. Everything's fine. You do not understand these people. They are relentless. Let me take one more drag here, please. One more thing. You're gonna need to take your shoes off. 